Phyllis Foods was actually started by my grandfather back in 1914 in Hooper's Island, Maryland, with a little small seafood processing factory. We did oysters during the wintertime, and we, we did crab and fish during the summertime. There were just so many oysters in the bay, so many crabs in the bay, all sorts of species of fish in the bay, you know, clams, soft shell clams, hard shell clams. And I said to myself as a young child, I said, my gosh, this bounty would be here forever. But yet, within my lifetime, it's all but disappeared. You know, it's a shame. And along with that disappearance of the resource was, is also the erosion of, of the whole lifestyle. Today, Phillips it encompasses seafood processing factories, uh, mainly in Asia. We process crab meat and fish and value-added products in those facilities. Fishermen are the same around the world. They work hard, you know, they, they depend upon, you know, a healthy resource to feed themselves and feed their families and to support the communities. When I really looked at our historical data, for instance, in Indonesia, you know, what I started seeing about six or seven years ago was really a decline in the resource. And what I mean by that was, you know, the crabs seem to get be getting a little smaller. When you see a species that's getting smaller, it means that, in my opinion, that it's experiencing some stress. We took the lead initially on uh, sustainability issues because of my experience as a, as a young child growing up on the Chesapeake Bay and seeing what can happen to a resource if it's not properly managed. That's the most important piece, that we take care of the resource. Without the resource, there's no fishermen, there's no industry, there's no exports, there's no jobs. So, you know, we have to do all that we can to make sure that that resource is, is protected, that it's sustainable, and if anything, to try to improve. To really address sustainability properly, I think, you know, you've got to include government, you've got to include the industry, you've got to include the fishermen, you've got to include, I think, a third-party NGO. And, you know, we're doing things. You know, we formed associations. Uh, in Asia uh, with all the processors. We've formed the NFI Crab Council. We've set up a funding mechanism, you know, committed to sustainability. We're, you know, we're putting money behind this effort and we're totally 100% committed to sustainability.